My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the process of setting up closed captions in your Adobe Connect room. Captions are available in Preferences, so I'm going to go up to the Meeting menu and choose Preferences, and then navigate to Closed Captions. Here we've got a couple of different options. The first one is turning on closed captions, and this will add a closed caption button to the menu bar of the attendees interface, so everybody will have the ability to turn on captions. We can also enable attendees to export the transcript after the meeting is finished, if they want a copy of those captions. And then below that, we can set up one or more captioning providers. There are two fields that are required here. The first is the caption title. This is often just the language that you're using. So for providing English captions, I might want to call this English. The next is choosing the caption provider. The default here is to assign somebody in the Adobe Connect room to type the captions, but I can also select from a number of different services here. We'll take a look at these in just a second. For now, we'll assign somebody in the room to type the captions, and I'll hit Done. You'll see now that captions are available, and because I haven't yet assigned anybody, I am the captioner. The closed caption box is down here in the bottom, but I can actually move this anywhere I'd like on my screen. This is also true of people viewing the captions. In fact, they get a minimized view that gets out of the way so that they can only see the captions. Here under the closed caption menu, I've got some options. For example, I can hide the captions if I don't want to see them. I can choose from which stream I'd like to receive the captions. So if we've got multiple languages, they'll show up here. I can change the text size for the captions as well as the format. The default here is white text on a black background, but I can change that to yellow text, sepia text on yellow, or yellow text on blue. Here I've got the ability to export the captions. I can download them as a file, or I can have Adobe Connect email them to me. And because we've selected an in-room captioner, I've also got the ability to select somebody else to provide the captions. I'll select Conrad here. You'll notice that closed caption box goes away, but as I hover down over the box, it will show up. And any text that Conrad types in here will also show up. Let's take a look at using one of the services. I'm going to hide captions for now, and then we'll go to preferences one more time, down to closed captions, and we'll add a, another provider. Let's make this provider English as well. So I'm gonna delete this first caption provider, We'll call this English, and rather than using an in-room captioner, we'll choose the Vitac provider. Now, in the case of Vitac, I can actually enter an event ID. I'm just going to enter a demo ID here, and then I'll click Done. And now I'll be able to see any of the captions coming from the Vitac service after I go to the Closed Captions menu and choose to start that service. Once that stream has started, I should see captions start showing up here in my meeting room. And again, I can move these somewhere else so that they are inconspicuous and out of the way. Let me stop this captioning service and take a look at some of the other captioning services. We'll go back to Preferences, Closed Captions, and let's add a secondary captioning provider. I'm going to click on the plus provider button here. We'll call these ones Spanish. And now instead of choosing Vitac, I can choose one of the other services. Most of these other services work in similar ways. I'll pick stream text here, for example. And there is no event ID that we're configuring for most of these other services. Instead, Adobe Connect will generate a token that I'll give to one of these other captioning services. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to select stream text as my caption provider. I'll hit done. And then from the closed caption menu, I can go down to Spanish and copy the captioning API URL. So I'll click on that, which will add that URL to my clipboard. This URL is already formatted for stream text in this case, because I selected stream text. And the same is true of the other services. From stream text, I can set up an event. In the case of stream text, I'm going to go to cart and captioning. 
I'm not going to use the Adobe Connect Caption Stream Pod settings here. These are for the old custom pod that was required before we added captions to Adobe Connect. Instead, I'm going to go down to real-time ingestion, and here's where I can simply paste that URL that Adobe Connect gave me and copied automatically to my clipboard. I've also got some other settings that I can adjust here for my stream text stream, but this is how we would set up one of the other captioning services. And then back in the Adobe Connect room, the captions will automatically show up. You'll notice now with two different captioning services set up, I can choose between the two different languages back in Adobe Connect. That's a quick look at setting up closed captions in your Adobe Connect room. Thanks for your time.